that's Ian Andrews. Why I'm pointing at you for me? Don't know. He, he likes to point. We're gonna. He, we're, he's a blamer. I. <laughs> is that what it is? I thought, I thought you were gonna say I'm a pointer. I'm like, well, no, no, you're point. a blamer. You blame. You point the finger. This guy right here. <laughs> listen to this. I don't really have anything to say. So Ultimate score. Devil's advocate. Score vodka. Score vodka. It's a vodka. We're gonna. Assume we can't. I, can't so, find the price. The thing but about you vodka think is under 15 is bucks. They differentiate themselves with gimmicks, and that's their gimmick. It's you don't take the cap off, you, you twist just, the pour. And then you just do this. Nice yeah. heavy. I'm gonna need a lot of vodka today. Oh, we're doing more? <laughs> Are we going here? Ah, there this we go. Really good. You said you needed some. <laughs> <laughs> so now, then you twist it down and it doesn't pour. Oh, that was good, because I was hoping that wasn't gonna pour. Nope. Um, you got a little drippage, but I think that was just for the tip of the yeah, nozzle. Yeah, you just shake it three times. Every now and then you get, yeah. yeah. Any more is, you don't wanna play with it. Right, right. Yeah. Four, seven, seven times distilled, we say? This is Ukrainian vodka. Ukrainian vodka, seven times distilled from grain. Gourmet quality. I don't know. What that means? But I think what happened is people realized that super, ultra, mega premium means nothing anymore because that's what mm. they all say. So now it's gourmet is the key word. Yeah. Well, that or gluten free. That's the other big oh, one. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this says gluten free. Well, it's from grain, so it probably isn't gluten free, right? Yeah, that know. one probably can't be. Really? I thought all vodka was gluten free because gluten doesn't uh, move through the distillate. Oh, oh maybe. Wow, you're smart. I hear this and then I repeat it. I don't it. know. I didn't come up with it. You need Somebody milk based filtration. I do? What? Oh yeah, that that's not I mean, that's that's a thing. Yeah. That seems like an expensive Wait, thing. They filter through milk? Yeah, milk milk yeah, you can wash with milk. Milk washing? Oh. Uh you can do it it's for like egg washing? Yeah, you you basically the milk grabs onto like the, the specific particulates and weighs them down and then you cut it and the milk sits at the bottom or the top. One of the two, probably the bottom. Probably the bottom. And then uh I don't what really know if that's how this podcast. Hey, try made. that. What? That's I just realized I didn't eat before I came over here. So oh! Oh, you did. I better be good. There's some pizza upstairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some chips. Some chips. All right. Are those street pizza. tacos? I like street tacos. Street meat. You don't know have Dorito street taco? Street. Ta oh, oh. No, those are pumpkin and sweet potato chips. Oh, sweet potatoes and pumpkin. Gross. <laughs> Not the same as street tacos. Street tacos. <laughs> <laughs> mhm. Mm Actually, Main Street Nashville has a street truck. Yeah. It's hot and sticky. It's no time for Dunkin' Dicky. If the frost is on the pumpkin, it's time for Dicky Dunkin'. Okay. Yeah. Movie reference? No, that's a quote from a uh, guy I know. <laughs> about what when you, the, the 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 concept is, it's about when you should have sex. If it's too hot out. It's not time. It's it's hot. It's uncomfortable. Oh. Well, when the pumpkins are frosting up, it's cold oh. enough. You gotta keep the you gotta warm up. So you do some exercise. <laughs> the exercise is dunking. You stretch out first. <laughs> do you do a little stretching? Hey, whatever you gotta do. What, whatever your process is, it's just a t just a schedule. Right, you don't want to pull anything. Except they invented air conditioning. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes you know. They didn't invent air. You just turn on the air condition. You yeah. put it in your room, freeze it up. Oh, you can frost the pumpkin up real quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you frost right? up one pumpkin, be like. Honey, let's go. Why? Because the pumpkin's cold. I put a pumpkin <laughs> in the freezer. Do you not know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever that happens, it's time to go. <laughs> anyway, so how's the how's the taste? It, it it's smooth. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not uh, overly ethanol-y. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. I mean, it's I, I don't a know bit how, to it, though. I don't know how it differentiates from uh, any other vodka. Different vodkas. Um, it's not bad. No. no. But I mean, w without having another vodka. The, the thing about vodka is the differences are very subtle. So mm -hmm. without having something right next to it, it's hard to say right. what the comparison is. Um, we've done this. Yes. 17 or something like that? Yeah, we did, a, we did a long vodka tasting. And I feel like this one will fall in the middle. Um, of, and, and when I say that, for those that haven't been watching the show long enough, you should be subscribing. Yeah. Um, the, the fall in the middle category when we did our tasting was there were ones that stood out. There were ones that were crap. And then there are everyone else. Right. So it, it does, it's not terrible. It's, it's not terrible. It fits it's right not, in the middle. But it doesn't necessarily differentiate itself. No. No. Okay. It's it's seven times distilled. Although what's cool is this. This is nice. Yeah, the bottle's cool. The bottle's cool. It's because bottle. it's easy. Yes. I like easy. I'm a big fan. Now, if you're love easy. if you're the type of people who put speed pours on there, not so easy. Because you can't put a speed pour on You don't need a speed pour. No, you no. just leave it open. Built it. I bet you you could probably pull this off. I I don't know why. You don't, I mean, this, you don't this even is... have to close it. If you're, if you're just going to use a speed pour for the night, you just leave it like that and you're good to go. 
This is your safety. It the, keeps... <laughs> yeah, good safety. Oops. No, the, 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 but the, the problem is a speed pour, if you're, if you're oh, measuring, timing. you know yeah. your timing, this timing might not be the same. I don't know, I didn't right. test it, but you could probably figure it out. Um, I don't think that really matters because I, I don't think, think it's the far consumer off. market is where they're kind of going with this. Yeah, um, it's a controlled it's gonna, pour, so it doesn't have to be a time right. pour. It's better, than, it's better than just pouring straight out of the hole, um, like with the big ones. Mm. So, so at seven times distilled, I don't get a lot of, um, I don't know, like... Uh, Impurities? Flavor. Yeah, the impurities are, are stripped clean. So impurities lend flavor, although there is some level of poison that's stripped out way early on in the distillation. Um, it's not going to hurt you. This prob this vodka is probably going to be one that you can drink a lot of excessively and be fine. You won't get a hangover. Yeah. However, vodka typically is mixed with orange juice and everything else. There's where your hangover is going to start. You're going to yes. add all that sugar and all that crap. You're going to dehydrate the crap on yourself, and you're going to be like, oh, my God, I woke up with a headache. Bottom line is drink Sprite. Or that, yeah, or right as a manure. The it's uh -huh. not you know it's the drink water in between the drinks. Right, it's the impurities that can sometimes cause some of the, the hangoverness. However, it's clear. But the more you filter that down, the less it has a defining characteristic of itself. That's the balance of creating vodka, right? Right, vodka is like water. Impurity versus lack of flavor. Mm -hmm. So it does taste different from the different distillates. It will, yeah. Definitely. The difference here is, for, and I don't know why this is, but this, if I take Tito's and put it here, Tito's smells like rubbing alcohol. Yeah. It, it smells like vodka. This doesn't really have that most defining scent. Like, do you smell, I, I don't smell like that bright, bright, like dark, like that just kick your nose in ethanol. Now, if you jam it deep Maybe enough, I you should be able to. too much water in here? No, I washed the, dude, we poured like four ounces in there. I think you're fine on the water. I don't know about four. No, but it was a lot. Um, it just doesn't... I, I appreciate the commitment <laughs> to, to your hyperbole. I, I, I was just saying. So there's there's a high degree of, of vodka in there. It's it doesn't have a lot of burn. It doesn't nope. have any type of weird um, rot gut like like yeah. biting grossness. This might be good for mixing with something where you don't want it to stand out. You no, know, I know that's that's kind of want to bolster your drink. Right. If you are a, altering your drink. Right. If you're a vodka drinker that likes pure, almost like you're drinking spring water. Fine. Hmm. However, most vodka tends to be built into a mixed drink, and having something that's going to impact the mixed drink. There's a lot of vodka drinks which we've discovered and right. we're going to be and I expanding think that, on in the near future. Yeah, and I uh, think in this type of scenario, if you're making a juice uh, cocktail and you don't want it to taste like it's got like a lot of vodka in them, this will probably work pretty well because yeah. it doesn't have a lot of burn to it. Yet it is not. It's not water. It'll be great in your screwdrivers and your highballs yeah. and, and, and it's forty like ABV. Yeah. It's your greyhounds and your sea breezes and your hmm. all those drinks. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of water. You can you can burn through. We got a whole yeah. list. I mean, you can go you can go on forever with the different vodkas, and we'll be using this in some other cocktails, which I think yes. it's actually going to work well in. Is this is oh, a this vodka? This will work great in the uh, in the vespers. Vespers. Yeah. That we're gonna be doing this now. is a this is let a the gin and the light shine. Right. This is a vodka that is, is actually, I guess that's what you're going to have to do. But when you're making a product, and I feel sad saying this, but their product is kind of seems like it's designed to not be noticed in a drink. Okay. Like, they, if you add this hey, to it. If you a, don't even know it's there, you got to use more of it to make <laughs> I know. It, but, it, 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 sells so more. it could be good. I mean, it, with the price range, too, it would be good for mixing. Totally. It yeah. is. Cheap, cheap, cheaper price. Right. If, if what we're understanding on the prices, and I couldn't find it, but we are hearing it's in the fifteen ninety nine range when we looked some other people doing reviews and the little cost analysis, whatever. I think it's in that range. This is no for eighteen and under. It's a it's a no brainer. Yeah. You you want something clean, clear, and it's not going to destroy your cocktail. It's not going to impart odd flavors. It's not going to be over over potent because no nobody. Gilbies. Yeah, not a lot of people want to drink that's really over. No five dollar fits. Yeah. Right. They don't mind getting a buzz or worse, but they don't want to taste like they're drinking rubbing alcohol. Right. Because there's product for that. It's called rubbing alcohol. Mm. Who wants to drink that? I don't think you're supposed to drink that. I don't think so. Uh, so this is. And, and you know what? And I'll, it's the don't aftertaste. Try that at home. No, no, I, I don't think so. Maybe I, I'm not a scientist. Question: Is it safe to drink rubbing alcohol? I'm um, not safe, but it's, it's high, can you do packets do that? Is it ethanol or is it methanol, rubbing alcohol? Oh, well, if it's methanol, that's a problem. Yes. Um, I, I don't it'll know. Kill you. No. Yes, that'll, that'll happen. 
No, I don't you, know. I think it's you could die. I mean, there is That's a chance you probably won't die unless you take too much, then you get your stomach pumped or whatever. It's all bad news. Um, yeah, don't, don't do, do that. So stick to the stuff that's meant to be consumed. The the thing that shines the best besides the cap is the tape. The finish goes it dissipates really quickly. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it, very clean. It's a palate cleanser. It is. This is a clean ass vodka for a finish. little money. That's like the best. Um, so you think it mixers? Good. Boom. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like you drink spring water with buzz. Yeah. Um, so. This kind of plays into that. What? Question A. Which is of your five senses, and if you have six, that one doesn't count. No. Nope. Um, We're going with the... With the five? No. Sight, smell, taste, touch, and hear. Yeah. And which one of those would you say is your strongest? My son is smell, for sure. Yes. Like... He has a nose like you would not he, believe. I, right? I, yeah. I could open up an Altoid box. He's like, who's, he, who's has mints? I'm like, I haven't even got... Like, he's... He's like I mean, right on top. I'd have to go with taste or touch because my eyes are shot. I'm yeah, death no, is my a eyes are I'm always stuffed I have one, up. One ear that I can't hear out of. <laughs> I do, yeah. It's because he owns a cat and he's allergic to that. <laughs> Not smart. I am too, and I sleep in That's his sixth sense. Not making good decisions. <laughs> Aren't you going to argue? No, I don't want you to get him to No conflict. <laughs> I can't even get him to conflict. <laughs> What, the answer should have been is, fuck you, cats are awesome, shut your mouth. <laughs> but no, nothing, just... So now everybody's going to be just... commenting how much of an asshole I am. <laughs> that, was, that was the point. That wasn't the point, he's not that. I don't have to fight my own battles. That's right. That's the... <laughs> so uh, mine, I'm going to go on paste. I know, I know that it happens. I'm going to go with, ta did you say taste as well? Smelling um, it, I think I can smell pretty good. If I think I'm not taste and out. smell are linked. I don't have to but taste. I like to taste things. I love I tasting smell things. Much. Yeah, taste yeah. and smell are linked. Yeah. Uh, and like you will definitely make a lot more taste sensations, or your taste sensations are stronger when you have your nose working. Yeah. I like taste. My favorite's taste. He likes I'll say that. that. <laughs> I love taste. Well, some people have eyegasms. They like looking at things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Some people's. They're... Eargasms. They like I feel like the taste is like the most, like, Pleasurable. Satisfying? Pleasurable, yeah. Yeah. But is it your strongest? I, I think like my mother, she just quit smoking. She's like, everything tastes gross. I'm like, what? She's <laughs> like, it's all so strong. I'm like, so because you smoked your entire life and you've dulled your senses, now when she has something that's got like a, a like pretty a wheat bread, she said, like wheat or bread or anything that has yeah. like a, an actual a flavor. Vibrant yeah. flavor to it, she it, can get it. Yeah. And it makes her grossed out. She's like, why does it have this weird taste to it? Oh, you mean wheat bread? <laughs> She's no longer numb to it. You mean the taste? Oh, yeah. what's that? Pepper? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, God, Salt. what is that? It's like, oh, that's that's called passion fruit that's and lemons. Like, you, things that you just, you, so you her taste granted. buds would yeah. not be very good. Now they are better. Yes. So what are your strongest senses out of the five? Write it down, but give me an explanation, because otherwise it's just going to say nose, 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 mouth, mouth, whatever. You can give me some more reason for it. Before we wrap up, your other, your other homework. Go to everydaydrinkers.com slash newsletter and sign up for the newsletter. Just put one out. Good stuff. I haven't read it yet, but there's always good stuff in there. And you can go to patreon.com slash cmc to donate and help support the show. Yep, and if you don't want to use Patreon because it's a monthly thing, you can go to everydaydrinkers.com slash donate, and you can, do, you can do subscriptions via PayPal there, or one-time donations. Derek needs money. Um... Derek I've been doing this for a while, and I don't make any money. And I, I seventy-five percent of my ad revenue has been sliced because well, I don't know why YouTube's just they adver advertising pre-roll net neutrality in the garbage chute. And then they just put out the new like you see the, some of the Safari and stuff have like blocking built in now, ad blocking oh, right. and everything. Boom, <laughs> even less money. So uh, if you do awesome. the math, my Patreon account, I have ten patrons. I, I make ninety five dollars a month. So if you do that out for all the work I put in, I'm making ninety uh, fifty nine cents an hour. That's my salary. Yeah. So help me help you, <laughs> and by that I mean help me. And that doesn't count the money you put in. <laughs> oh no, no, no. That, yeah, that's then it goes negative. Fruit mixers. Like that one bottle. Uh, I bought Plantation Original Dark. That means that's that's like three years worth of my salary gone. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't buy stuff that costs, you know, too much money. Uh, it wasn't even that much money. Three thousand dollars or whatever it is. <laughs> For yeah, three well, years of your salary. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna? One bottle, gone. Boom. Um, 
Also, shout outs. We've got Stephen Ward from North Carolina. Oh, yeah, shout outs. Yep. Uh, Jason Norton from Pennsylvania. Uh, not related to Peter Norton, I think. Uh, um, not that we know of. No. Who's Peter Norton? Is he the guy that does antivirus? Or is he the guy that, 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 that does the movies? Alright. Uh, Jimmy from Stockholm. From Stockholm! Sweet. Oh, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Michael uh, Maltby from California. Do we have a cocktail from him this week? Uh, maybe. Uh, his name looks possible. like I just typed something recently. Okay. Robert from Stockholm! What's up with you, Swedish people? Stockholmish people! Stockholm syndrome. Those Swedish people, like, I, I saw something, I think, I think it was Swedish. Sweden. There's like this Swedish food. Fish. It's yeah, no. I was a red fish. No, it's 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 fish, but it's like fish that comes yeah. in a can. It's like Strom Stromberg or something. It's it's raw fish put in a can and seasoned enough so it doesn't rot, but it's salted enough so it doesn't rot. But it sits in the can and it ferments for like at least a half a year or something, yep. and then you open it up. And it's one of the uh, a study showed it's one of the most disgusting smells. Of food Lovely. in the world, but they love their food and they put it on like toasted bread, like sardines. You know, like sardines. That but it smells nasty. So my like interest has peaked. Kind of, like Only it's pizza. raw. Yeah, but smoked salmon smells fermented. like smoke. That sounds really yucky. Yeah, and it's salted enough so it doesn't rot. That's about it. Wow. We should try wow. some. Carrying. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, Let's rush out to this. <laughs> Josh <laughs> Terrio from right Ontario. Josh Guns. That's his probably Josh his Guns name. with the Z. Yep, and he's from yeah Canada. Yeah. Lots of Canadians in the house. I think that's all we need, right? So One, two, Sweet three, people. four, five, six. Yeah, boom. We're done! Orb, orb, orb. We're teaching how to taste. Boom! <laughs> Ready? You're only mostly <laughs> dead. <laughs> we're gonna. We're, that's right. we're, 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 I'm gonna need to drink heavy on this one. Okay. I will. <laughs> <laughs> good. He's gonna eat I gotta, the devil's advocate. Yeah. <laughs> <Heavy pour. laughs> this is bullshit! Yeah. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> Ian could be taught. <laughs> Which side am I on? Who is Derek's side? It doesn't matter. Jen! Get the camera right every single week. It's driving him nuts. Can't you see? It's not hard. It's not hard. It's every week, same thing. Right. Center the kit. Nothing changes. Uh, no. Just do the same thing. It's okay though, because she feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> she pouty lipped. So let's pull back. <laughs> the thing that I like about these styles of gin is because everybody has a juniper flavored gin. It's then everybody done. has a citrus flavored gin, like right. American gin. London Dry Gin, we get it. And then there's been the, the mild cucumber gin, like the Hendrix.